Hey guys, what's up? So recently I have seen that many people actually are buying iPod Classics and I do really like iPod Classics but the big question is does it worth buying in 2024 for a lot of money actually this cost pretty pretty expensive so mine actually I got with broken phones so I did not spend much money on this I just replaced a battery by the way the battery I replaced actually is not the original battery i spent only one dollar for battery usually if you go a battery which fits directly to your device it will cost you about ten dollars but i bought one of these so you can check this one and if you're going to like replace battery on your ipod you can buy one of these and if you know how to solder you can just replace the bms board from the original battery to the one you bought and you're good to go actually so the battery i have replaced and it works flawlessly pretty much same as the original one i have no issue with the battery just for one dollar you're good to go nowadays i have been seeing that many people actually buying ipod classic they're buying this just to listen music mainly actually uh, it's all about pure music experience no distraction no notification just you and your tunes but it actually doesn't stop there so there is a huge community of these iPods and there are amazing mods for this tiny little device. Basically, people are listening music on this, but honestly, this doesn't sound that good actually. Until you pair with any kind of deck, then it will going to sound really good. That's true for a smartphone too. But as I said, this is all about pure music experience, but you can get much better device than this with a built-in DAC and without any kind of notification or anything like that you can buy those kind of musics too but these are really famous for one thing right now it's all about modding I don't think people actually listening music that much on this device but they really like to mod this device so you can mod this device in two ways in physically or you can do it in the software wise so I have done software wise modification here not no physical modification here so mine one here is actually 6 gen ipod classics it is a 80 gb variant as you can see i did not replace the hard drive because it's working just fine and i don't really have that much music to put here it is working really good so i don't really have any issue with that and i'm just listening music i'm not going to do anything like that so it's pretty okay to have hard drive but hard drive is not really that reliable these are pretty old device almost 15 years old actually so in that case these are not that much reliable like hard drive wants out pretty badly nowadays and if you drop it's all gone basically so so in terms of kernel modification you can do a lot of things here you can get a wireless charging here you can get type c you can get bluetooth modification you can get a bigger battery here and also you can change the hard drive to sd card even to ssd so there are a lot of things you can do but mainly people doing one thing actually without doing other things is software modification so you can install rockbox here and rockbox is open source rom for ipod and many other mp3 players it has a lot of features a lot of things you can tweak so i have already done that and the beauty of rockbox is that you can keep it with your original OS so you can boot back to Rockbox and to original OS and installation process is pretty damn easy actually there are a lot of tutorials available online but basically you have to download the installation file and open it and you have to tick something there are some check marks after that you can just flush the firmware and you're good to go and one thing you have to remember that if you put any music directly on your device you will see them in rockbox but you will not see them in your ipod os so if you sync music directly from itunes with ipod os you can see them in your rockbox so that's better actually because if you switch between the os then you can listen music on both of them but if you don't do that then you will see the music on your rockbox because if you install rockbox you can just drag and drop the files pretty easy and you can listen music once you install Rockbox, I don't think you will go back to your iPod OS. So I have already installed Rockbox here. So to boot back to my Rockbox, I just press and hold menu button and center button together until it boots back to Rockbox. So this is 
So leave it. And as you can see here, it is booting to Rockbox. And there is a lot of things going on in Rockbox actually. You can do a lot of things here. You can play games. You can tweak your music. And this also supports a lot of file formats. So if you have different file formats music, you can like play them here. So the UI is here and I changed the theme. So it's looking a little bit different than the usual Rockbox theme. But uh, the functionality is same. As you can see here, there is a lot of things going on. Pretty much like iPod menu. So if you go to file section, it will show you all the things here. If you copy or drag and drop anything on your device, it will be here. And there is database. It's all about music actually. Your artist, your album and other things. And there is resume playback which will show you your music and you can play directly from here there are many themes where you can see much more details of your music like your beat rate and like how much music you have how many of them playing and all the things you can see so you have to change the theme for that and the setting as you can see here and we do have recording so if you want to record you can do recording actually if you plug in your earphone or you can like plug it straight to a dock or something like that just if you want to record something so there are a few more things like plugin section so in the plugin section you will get games and there are a lot of games you can play i don't really like to play games because i find it very difficult to play on this kind of devices i just use this as a music player no destruction just pure music experience going back there are a few more things actually they are like uh, application and other things uh, those stuffs actually not really useful i think I'm going to the setting there is a lot of things you can do in the setting first of all sound setting so you can choose volume make maximum volume limit base base cutoff travel travel cutoff balance balance config studio crossfit a lot of things you can choose equalizer you can you can do tons of things here I don't really know much about audio or anything like that it's okay for me just to listen music i don't really need any kind of hi-fi things but anyway many people like to listen hi-fi music so for them there is a lot of things going on there is playback section where you can get a lot of things there too in the general section you also see like display brightness and other things you can control from here but one more thing you can do if you replace your battery to system section you can go to battery section and you can choose your battery capacity so as i have installed a 400 mAh battery as you can see here 400 mAh so i replaced with this battery it is a 400 mAh battery so i choose a 400 mAh here so it can show you the correct battery percentage and there is disk option and limit option there are few things you can do actually and automatic resume and other things so you can play with a lot of things and main thing of this you can customize the theme and you can make it completely look like ipod os in the theme section if, if you don't like the default look of your rock box and if you want the look of ipod os you can still get that actually there are tons of theme you can install on rock box i did install themes here so i will put the ipod classic theme so this will look like the ipod classic theme so as you can see here it looks like pretty much similar to ipod classic as you can see but it doesn't show any kind of cover flow or anything like that but it is pretty much look like ipod classic if you like ipod classic theme but easily i'm not really big fan of that theme so i will put this one which i've been using so i really like the black theme and the font and also you can choose actually font too uh, you can go with font section and you can choose i like big fonts actually not the small one so i put it on 24 um, or this theme so this one is look looking good and basic skin and other things also you can choose actually base skin too so i usually keep it same as the this theme actually let me go so i put refresh for so I really like the theme of this one actually. So because it offers a lot of details of music. So if I go resume playback, so as you can see, it's showing which format is MP3 is, as you can see here. And also you can see the kilohertz, and also you can see 
which actually it is is so everything is there and also you can check uh, how many battery percentages left and also clock so that's a really good thing and if you want you can get it too so basically if you install rockbox i don't think you will go back to your original os because it's really beautiful and it works flawlessly no issue and the battery backup is same as usual os so you are not lacking anything you are getting a lot of things with rockbox so what if you really want to boot back to your original ipod os that's also pretty easy first of all you have to shut down your rockbox press and hold the play pause button it will shut down the device so shutting down So if you want to boot back to your iPod OS, just press the center button and immediately press the menu button to boot back to your iPod OS. So center button, menu button, and as you can see, it will boot back to your iPod OS. So the beauty of Rockbox is you can switch between your OS. If you don't want your iPod OS, you can go back to Rockbox. If you don't want to spend time on Rockbox, you can boot back to iPod OS and both of them works flawlessly. And it's it's really beautiful actually so that's all about ipod actually there is nothing much to say this is all about music if you really care about music i can't recommend you to buy one of these actually you can go with many things nowadays there is much more better player than this with built-in deck and no destruction and for pure music experience you can go with those but if you like classic things and if you want to like mod or do such a things and if you have one i think those things are actually cool doing ipod like uh, usb type c mod and wireless charging mod and other things those are cool actually but those are pretty expensive too so that's all about ipod classic um i do really like this ipod classic but i don't think it's much useful i really like my phone and that's works much better than this. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.